hey guys welcome back to our channel hazy code today in this video we are going to see how you can implement this type of back press again functionality so that user won't accidentally exit your app while using it so it will work like this when it is pressed for single time it will give this message press again to exit but if user presses it twice a time within two seconds of time period app will exit like this so let's see how to implement this at first we will take a long variable which will store our current time on back press in our long variable private long and we will name it as back press time and we need to override a method that is on back press inside this method we need to implement our code at first we need to take this long variable of back press time and we will store our current time in milliseconds and we need an if else statement so that we can verify if a button click is pressed twice or not back press time plus 2000 which means when you are pressing this back press it will have this time from this system dot current time millis in milliseconds and 2000 means it will add 2000 to the current milliseconds which means 2000 means 2000 milliseconds and that 2000 milliseconds stands for two seconds so if you are pressing this for two times within a two seconds of period of time this if statement will verify that so if your current back press time is greater than this then this statement will be executed and we need to add a return else we will toast a message back press again to exit so our toast will be inside this make text we will give it a message of press back again to exit so that's it and we will run our app So when I will press this button, it will show the toast message that we have typed here that is back press again to exit. But when I will press this twice within two seconds, it will exit this app. So there is a problem in this app when we double click, it shows this toast message. But after exiting this app, it continues to show. Here you can see the toast message is still on after the app exits. So for this what we need to do is we will take a toast variable and we 
we will store this toast inside and we will remove this just simply we need to add this toast dot show and when this app actually exits at that time we need to cancel this toast dot cancel that's it so let's see Here you can see our toast message has disappeared. So that's it for this video. If you have any problem or doubt, simply comment down below and we will surely come to help you. Thank you for watching.